Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another unboxing and review, and today we are taking a look at the Mecha Depot staging area by Joy Toy, and this is a 1/18th scale diorama slash playset. All right, before we begin our video, um, I'm not sure how much of an unboxing and review this is going to be. It's all dependent on how much I could fit underneath my camera right now. Um, I don't know how large this playset or diorama is once we complete it, but at the very least, I'm going to try to unbox it and we'll go over the different pieces that are included in the packaging. So what we have here is the Mecha Depot staging area by Joy Toy. It's 118 scale. Uh, the, bat, uh, the box is pretty straightforward. Um, bright orange yellow and here's the actual uh, diorama stage uh, underneath mecha depot staging area and on the back this will give you an idea of what this thing looks like once it's assembled so this is pretty much kind of like a display piece slash diorama um, it's at 1 18th scale so when you're thinking that size, you know, think maybe like three and three quarter GI Joe, four inch GI Joe, three and three quarter like Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, um, Legacy Collection, vintage Collection, uh, Marvel Infinite. Uh, you kind of get the point. Any action figure that's like within the realm of like three to four inches, it's perfect for something like this. Uh, the Mecha Depot staging area. Um, I selected this one because they make different uh, diorama sets. Um, for one, I selected this one because I think this was one of the more affordable ones. Um, I, I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this. I bought this like a month ago. I want to say I might have paid, might have been on sale. I think I got it for like under 50 bucks. And uh, so these diorama sets made by Joy Toy, I believe they're modular. So you can assemble them and construct them in like different uh, configurations. And it, they're also compatible with their other play sets and dioramas. Uh, the Mecha Depot staging area, it looked cool to me because it's kind of like a multi-level platform. You kind of have like the balcony or catwalk up here and down on the bottom. It's kind of like a wider walkway and there's like, um, there's like weapon storage racks against the walls. And it just looks really cool. I love the color scheme with the red girders against like the, the gray and the gunmetal. It looked really nice. So we're going to take a look at this. So let's uh, take this out of the wrapping and get started. So just bear with me. Um, this is, I think, my second Joy Toy collectible. Um, months ago, months ago, I reviewed the Joy Toy Steel Bone Mech Desert Type. It's a 125th scale mech that comes with a pilot. It's very much in, in line with, like, uh, if you're familiar with the video game Titanfall, it seems like it pulled a lot of ins inspiration from that. So if you're curious about the quality and the kind of toys that Joy Toy makes, just go into my back catalog of videos, and it's like called like I think Joy Toy Steel Bone Desert Mech or something, and they'll give you an idea of the kind of toys they make. Uh, but for this, this is a slightly larger scale. This is 1/18th scale, so this is more in line with like a GI Joe or like a small Star Wars figure. And uh, let's get slide this out. So I'm kind of curious about this. And well, to the best of my ability, we'll see how much of it I can actually fit underneath my camera. I doubt I'll be able to get the entire thing assembled. But at the very least, we can unbox it and take a look at the different elements together. Alright, so here's the box. There's a foam insert to protect the contents. Alright, so assembly is required for this. There's a lot of pieces. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to assemble this right now. Um, it's a lot, it looks like it's going to be a lot more work than I expected. I was kind of hoping this wouldn't... I don't know. I was kind of hoping that this would be like 
partially assembled and I just throw it together, but it looks like it's almost like building a Lego set. So let's at least take a look at the instructions. So here's the instructions for the Mecha Depot staging area. And this is what the final result's going to look like. You're looking at a uh, first level with guardrails. And there's kind of like an elevated catwalk or balcony on top. If you have multiple sets, these are modular. So you can like connect, you know, if you bought two or three of these, you know, you, you extend this to make it like a longer, much larger hallway. And here's the contents. Um, looks like we have floor pieces walls, guardrails, ammo racks, and this will give you an idea of how to assemble it. Um, the different floor pieces, there's six floor pieces, and it looks like they plug into each other. Um, there might be clips that hold them in place, I don't know. Alright, so there's clips, um, there's the instructions for assembling the catwalk, the guardrails, the upper level, um, the support beams, the girders. Alright, so um, I'm not going to assemble the whole thing right now. Like I said, at the very least, listen, maybe take a look at some of the pieces it comes with. Alright, so I believe these are the four pieces. Uh, let's take out at least one of these. Alright, so I believe these are the f floors. Um, uh, Alright, so this is apparently a guardrail. I think this might be a back wall. So yeah, I'm not going to assemble everything. Um, let's just more so talk about the different pieces and explore the modularity. Alright, so this is one baggie I'm not going to open. Uh, this contains the weapons racks. So these weapon racks lean against the wall and you can slide your rifles or what or whatever in these weapon racks. I don't want to open this up right now because the, the floor clips are on the bottom and uh, I don't know how many pieces I'm supposed to have and I don't want to lose any right now. So we're just going to set this aside for now. And these are the structural supports and girders. Again, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take this out. Let's just set this aside. But at the very least, we at least look at the floor options. So like I stated, you know, this is a very modular display. As we see here. Um... So let's try some of one of these floor sections to get an idea of how this thing works. So I'm kind of curious about the tolerance. Like, if once these plug in, is it easy to remove? Yeah, it's it's a snug fit. And if you had to remove, take it apart. Yeah, it's 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 snug enough. I mean, my, I think my biggest concern and worry would be, you know, if I assemble this and I wanted to reconfigure it, you know, would the pegs break off in the sockets? But this is a rubbery, softer material. It's 
and it's, I don't want to say rubbery. It's a little bit more flexible. I think flexible is a better word. Uh, this is on the other hand a much harder plastic. So let's kind of create maybe a, a small diorama scene here. So this actually looks like a shorter piece. So um, okay, so now I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know how these pieces plug into each other. I do like this. All right, so one thing I've noticed is that some of the floor pieces have these pegs and some don't. Uh, the instructions, they're, they're kind of vague. I mean, it's, it's kind of, I think, monkey see, monkey do when you assemble this. All right, so let's try to make a corner piece. Um, I don't have the clip mounted underneath that would hold these together. So for now, we'll just imagine that these are clipped together. And let's give this a back wall, like right here. Um, All right, so this is one of those things. It feels like it's like kind of like playing with Legos. So if, if you're a fan of just playing with Legos, you know, I think this is a cool, um, you know, option for creating dioramas and displays for your like your display area. And since it's modular, there's a lot of flexibility and freedom to kind of design what you want to design as long as it kind of falls within the confines of how the pieces are supposed to connect. Right, I'm not going to get too nuts with this. I'm not going to plug them in all the way because I don't know how difficult it will be to unplug it once I get everything snapped into place. And like I said, I just want to like just kind of do like a, just like a quick demo of how these pieces supposedly work together. Um, some of these pieces are it's a pretty snug fit, so you don't have to worry about them coming loose. But at the same time, I don't want to accidentally break something. Now this piece is a little long.
All right, so yeah, this kind of gives you an idea of what I just made. So normally this bottom floor piece would clip in with this one and it'd give you a much larger footing area. But for the sake of this demo, I'm just kind of just, you know, roughing it and trying to just like piece things together just to give you an idea of the modularity. But some of these pieces plug in really tight and my fear is that once I plug these in, I might not be able to get them out. And since I'm just kind of just eyeballing everything and guessing how this works, I don't want to commit to connecting anything permanently. So, so let's, you can imagine that like this is like the first floor. It looks really cool. And then we can imagine that this is kind of maybe the, the second floor or like the catwalk above it. So if you're like really into like creating dioramas or fig photography, um, especially at the smaller action figure scale of like about four inches or three and three quarters, uh, these Joy Toy diorama sets might be perfect for you. Um, right now it's kind of, since I'm not committing to plugging these in all the way, it's kind of not falling apart on me, but uh, let me grab an action figure so you get an idea of the sense of scale. All right, so over here we have a Force Awakens um, Stormtrooper. This is the smaller scale figure. So as you can see here, it looked fantastic for like a diorama. You know, if you're into fig photography, I think this is like an excellent option. Over here, we have a UNSC Marine from the World of Halo line by Jazzwares. This is a 4-inch scale action figure. Again, great for diorama building. And over here, we have the Master Chief. So yeah, great, um, great, great diorama. Excellent execution. Um... But like I said, I think my biggest fear right now is that I don't want to commit to building anything just yet because I don't know how difficult it'd be to like unplug some of these pieces because some of the pieces plug in really easily. Like these um, support beams plug really easily into the wall. The rails plug really easily into the floor. But then once you start combining and mi mixing pieces together, like the floor pieces here, this is a really tight fit. And I don't want to commit to like... Um, attaching this just yet you know I, I kind of want I'm, I'm kind of curious to see you know maybe I might get another set and decide on a on a diorama configuration and then you know commit and build something then but for now I just want to explore the modularity of this uh, so yeah this is it's awesome um, this is the joy toy mecha depot staging area 118 scale um, from what I've handled so far, I think this is a fantastic, um, awesome option for displaying your collectibles and action figures if you have the shelf space for it. Um, as I mentioned, this is a pretty large set, so I couldn't commit to like building the entire thing right now. But at the very least, I hope this gives you some insight into this, uh, the quality and the you know the build structure. It's really nice. Great for smaller G.I. Joes, Star Wars figures, Halo. Um, uh, the plastic quality is nice. The floor pieces are harder plastic. Nice paint application. Uh, you kind of have that diamond plating on the floors with some highlighting. And there's some scratches so it looks kind of worn and battle ready. Uh, the girders here and the support beams, they, there's even some like subtle like burn marks and scorching and edge highlighting. So it looks a little bit more realistic. Uh, some of these door pieces have little splatters of paint. So it kind of looks a little bit weathered and old. Very clean paint application with uh, number 8 on it. This is a harder plastic. Uh, the rails are a somewhat softer bendable plastic, a little bit more flexible. I wouldn't worry too much about these pegs breaking off. These on the other hand give me kind of worry because they're kind of tight fitting and this is a harder plastic. And my big worry is that, you know, once these are plugged in, uh, how 
easy would it be to like remove it you know so i don't want to commit to building a solid structure just yet um i want i might want to pick up another one of these just to create a larger staging area but yeah, I hope this provided some insight. You know, if this is a product that's new to you, you know, it might be an option worth exploring if, you know, if you're into like building dioramas or fig photography. All right, so if I had to rate this on a scale of one to 10 based on what I've handled so far, for me, it's an easy eight and a half to a nine. Um, the modularity, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. It feels like, you know, it, like I feel like a kid playing with Legos. You know, trying to figure out the different configurations, trying to figure out how the pieces fit together. Uh, the quality of the pieces seems pretty top-notch from what I've handled. Uh, like I said, the only thing that gives me any worry is, you know, the tolerances. You know, some of these pieces, it's a really tight fit for the peg and socket. So I did, I'm just kind of leery on that right now. But otherwise, I think this is an excellent product. Uh, well worth the purchase, especially for the price point. So let's wrap this video up. Once again, my name is Lou. Uh, once again, <laughs> my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, and most importantly, be happy. And I will see you at the next one. Later.